I think there is a profound and enduring beauty in simplicity, in clarity, in efficiency. That's why we handpicked a 16 gigabyte storage module for the new iPhone 7. This is important. We need this. Built from the ground up to hold your iPhone OS and really not much else. But what else do you need? This doesn't have a headphone jack anymore. The iPhone 7. It's everything you need because we say so. What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here. In case you haven't guessed, that was not Johnny Ives. Sorry to disappoint <laughs> if you didn't guess that on your own, but uh, there is a new rumor that the new iPhone 7 will not be receiving a 32 gigabyte base storage option. Now this is something really disappointing to me because I looked forward to that. I never buy base storage iPhones, but a lot of people do because they just can't afford something bigger. And to have it start at 16 gigabytes is really just an insult. So this latest rumor basically showcases is the dual lens camera for the iPhone 7 Pro or the Plus, whatever it is. We've seen it many, many times in the past, but this time around there's a little goodie off to the edge. So this comes from a Weibo account of a somewhat reliable analyst. Basically, it is the dual lens sensor. If we cross compare it to other rumors, it's actually the very, very same lens. So looking at the actual storage options, if we zoom in real close, we can see that it is a SanDisk storage chip. So that's something that was predicted in an earlier rumor, and now we see it, you know, rising to fruition. So if we actually zoom in even closer, we can see that there are three storage sizes with these chips. One is 16 gigabytes, one is 64 gigabytes, and one is 256 gigabytes. Now this is just a rumor. I really hope it stays at that level, but if Apple were to actually ship a 16 gigabyte iPhone, their stock, I'm afraid for it, really. It would nosedive as if it wasn't doing bad enough in the past few weeks. But anyways, next up, so Apple may have shifted suppliers for their dual lens camera for the iPhone 7 Plus. It's no longer certain that it'll be called an iPhone 7 Pro, that's why I'm using the Plus line. So instead of using Sony as the sole manufacturer for these dual lens cameras on the iPhone 7 Plus, Apple may poach a third party company, LG Inatech, to produce the rest. So that's not a bad thing. Apple many times, you know, hires third party companies to produce parts that other manufacturers couldn't keep up with. I'm just afraid for, uh, you know, scalpers. There are many times during iPhone releases where scalpers will line up and just buy a ton of iPhones, pay other people to buy them. And the fact that there may be a delay with the supply for the iPhone 7 Plus means that this will be a golden opportunity for scalpers to make extra dough. So, you know, that just means that us as customers, we can't receive our iPhones on time and we have to wait longer and longer. So that's something I absolutely hate. Other people profit off of, you know, other people's misfortune. And basically, I'm not looking forward to that, but there may be a huge delay in iPhone 7 Pro models. And lastly, Apple has been granted a patent that allows for fingerprint usage through the display. So using ultrasound waves, this patent basically details a way that you can use your fingerprints on the display without needing to use a separate Touch ID sensor. This is great because it would allow for a supposed edge-to-edge -edge display where everything is just a display. That is truly the future, something we don't have nowadays, but man, that would really be cool. And guys, there you go. That is the latest on the iPhone 7. Hopefully Apple can spin it in a very positive light because right now I'm not too excited for it. I'm sure many of you guys aren't either. So thanks so much for watching guys. Stay tuned for any and all news on the upcoming iPhone 7. Peace.